Flower is all about um, Zoe Dutch and uh, her new or soon-to-be stepbrother are trying to expose Adam Scott's um, dark secret that he is a pedophile. Um, when her soon-to-be stepbrother was in elementary school in another district, he was, or Adam Scott was the teacher there, and the stepbrother says, hey, he touched me, and it just didn't work out, and now he just got out of uh, rehab for pills and stuff, so how is the film? This is a comedic drama that is very well done. It's it's very, very good. I have a couple problems with it. Let's get into what I liked about the film first. Zoe Dutch is very, very gorgeous in the film, first of all. But she is also great in the film. She's come a long way. She has come a long way from... Um, what was that one movie she did that was she was terrible in Vampire Academy? Good lord, she was so bad in that. She was so bad in that. But that was her first like major straight to theaters acting role where she played a lead performer. Uh, Catherine Hahn plays her mother. I'm not sure the name of her stepbrother, but Adam Scott is okay in here uh, for what he has to do. He He's okay, but the uh, performers who really steal this movie are Zoe Dutch, Catherine Hahn, and the stepbrother. It's just so well written. Except, except, for the last 10 minutes. Zoe Dutch and the stepbrother are just trying to help each other out. She's trying to help him. They finally um, do something. They're on the run from the law. They are being chased by a cop. And this is where the film takes a downfall for me. <clears throat> All of a sudden, out of freaking nowhere, out of nowhere, the stepbrother goes, hey, I I'm not very good at this, but uh, I, I think I love you. I'm like, that came out of nowhere. You're trying to sneak a romance element in there? You could have done that. You could have tried a little romance in there between uh, Zoe Dutch and Adam Scott. You had the chemistry between those two actors. When they were flirting back and forth in the car, I thought that's where you were going with it. And then she finds out that Adam Scott really did do what he did. Then that's where the movie was going to go. Uh, the last 10 minutes kind of ruin it. Or the last couple minutes are very sweet. Like the last two minutes are very, very sweet. But in between that and as they are deciding to go back home, no. The eight minute time span is just like, what the f did you just watch? You know what I'm saying? There was no hinting that there was any uh, feelings for each other until now. There's no hinting at it. There's nothing you're trying to sneak it in there. And they try to make it in a funny way. But it just doesn't work. This has a great style of humor that is not even replicated nowadays. It's not even written like this nowadays. 
it's normally like a fart joke here, poop joke there. Oh, that guy got hit in the balls. Oh, the fat person fell down. That's literally every single Melissa McCarthy movie, pretty much. I I mean, and Kevin James, Kevin James movie. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, I fell down. Oh, I just took shit over there. Hi, that's funny. No, this style of comedy is just normal banter between um, two people. Normal dialogue that some people do have. Because I know some people who talk about sucking cock. Some of the girls I know who talk about sucking cock out of nowhere. I'm like, you were just talking about going to McDonald's and now you're talking about sucking a guy's cock? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. It It's very out there. It's 90 minutes. Um, I prefer the uh, theatrical poster, which is just Zoe Dutch on the uh, poster and she has her tongue out. It's a very great poster. It fits the movie well. This doesn't really fit it well because this guy, he's not in the film too much. He plays an important role, but he's not great. The only bad part about the movie is the eight minute time span where they all of a sudden decide to screw but yet they're going to be step brother and step sister. And they're going to have a relationship when, um, spoiler, he gets out of jail. Okay. And, uh, Tim Heidecker isn't very good in the film. Adam Scott's okay for what he has to do. He's He plays an important role, but he doesn't do a good job in it. Zoe Dutch and Catherine Hahn have a great fight scene, like verbal fight scene, that I think they took a little bit too far, in my personal opinion, because there's a, a word that I don't really like hearing, and I don't think anybody should be called, and it starts with a T, but whatever. I'm going to give Flower an A. It was a great film. I am definitely going to buy this when it goes down in price. The next films you will be seeing me review will be Letters to Juliet. This time for real, Tremors, Tremors 2 Aftershocks, Tremors 3 Back to Perfection, Tremors 4 The Legend Begins, Tremors 5 Bloodlines, and... It doesn't say Tremor 6, but it is Tremor 6. Tremor 6, A Cold Day in Hell. So stay tuned for all those. As well as some more stuff that I pick up from my local library tomorrow. And I will see you guys next time.